Okay, going. As the wind changes, so do our sails. And for now, we say goodbye to Moorea and Tahiti, but just for a short time. We have some different adventures ahead and some new waters to navigate through. They don't take reservations here. So it's kind of like you have to cross your fingers that you get something decent or something at all. It's been really busy these last couple of years. All right, wish us luck. Oh, we're not gonna have much to choose from. A lot of boats. A lot of big boats. Do you see the catamaran with the um, island and the palm trees? Looks like maybe that's open next to it. It's always so nice when you have a buddy that's on the dock and they help you out. And we also looked out, there's like absolutely no wind, which a lot of you who sail on catamarans know that um, Docking in wind is <laughs> really difficult. I'm glad I don't have to do it. All right, now it's time to really fix these lines. <laughs> it's pool session time <laughs> with our wetsuits on because it's. <laughs> So damn cold. And we're wimps. So this is a wave ski, which is like a cross between a kayak and a surfboard. It was super popular, I guess in the 80s, especially in like Australia and South Africa, where it still has a pretty big following. But there's been a resurgence recently in the United States and in Hawaii, um, primarily because it's really well adapted for people with disabilities who don't have a lot of leg strength or who don't have a lot of paddle strength and, and need to use a paddle or both. So a lot of guys and girls who are paralyzed from the waist down or, or even slightly higher will ride these in the surf with, um, without very much modifications compared to what a fully able-bodied person would ride. For me, um, you know, first I lost the ability to ride a regular surfboard. I couldn't pop up anymore and I couldn't paddle. So then I started riding stand-up paddle boards and then over time it got too hard to stand on the boards. I didn't have the muscles to stabilize for balance. So I switched to boogie boards and then it got um, a little bit, and, and body surfing, but then it got too hard to kick uh, with any kind of confidence that it actually catch the waves. The theory was, well, what can, we, what can we get that will potentially allow surfing to be an accessible sport for me again? And we decided to go for a wave ski. So you have to get these, there's no production wave skis. You have to order it and the guy has to make it. And so here it is. Uh, problem is, <laughs> When you're going out through the waves, or if you fall after, when you're going out through the waves, you can't 
duck under a wave like you can on a surfboard and you can't like jump off and get back on really quickly because you're strapped in with this with this waist belt. Hard to roll. Yeah, you see it. <laughs> well, she pushed. You know, you, you wear this this seat belt, which locks you in place. But if you fall, it can be quick released if you can't roll the ski back up. If you're trying to paddle out through the surf, and if every time a wave comes that you're trying to get through. You get knocked over and then you have to punch out your seatbelt and then get back on, put your seatbelt back on. Da-da. By that time, the next wave comes and you just never get anywhere. So one strategy to get out through the surf is when the wave's about to break on you, you flip upside down and let the wave roll over you. It's called turtle rolling on a surfboard. And then you roll back up again and keep going. But that presumes that you can roll. I'm not trying to necessarily like, you know, achieve any specific goal. Like I'm not trying to win a contest or, you know, get barreled on a such and such a wave. And it's not like to prove what's possible or any of that kind of crap. I want to know if uh, surfing is still accessible to me or not. And um, accessible to me with a degree of freedom and uh, that allows for the kind of expression and engagement with the wave that's always made surfing kind of so um, you know rewarding for me so we'll see this is our third session in the pool occasionally i'm touching the board maneuvering it away from the sides of the pool so that it does not slam into the rocky edge and damage the board it may look like i'm helping ryan flip the board but i'm not in the surf I won't be there. He has to do this on his own. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Got some water for those? Yeah, you like okay, good luck. <laughs> it's okay. Next stop are the waves. Off to the ocean tomorrow. Oh, wish us luck. I hope he does awesome and really enjoys it and stays safe. If you liked this episode, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell for when our next episode comes out. It'll let you know. Activity begin.